Hi everyone, welcome to the fifth video of the React Native Superbase series. In the last video, we went over how to add new records to our table in Superbase, and today we'll be adding the checkbox to each item so that we can mark an item as completed. So jumping back in our code, let's first create a new state, which will store all the items that are marked as completed. We'll call this checked items. So we'll keep it as an empty array for now. And then in our to-do component that we have here, we're gonna pass uh, the item and then also the index of this item. And then along with the index, we're gonna pass all the checked items as well. So basically what we're gonna do is in our to-do item component, we're gonna check if this index is actually included in this list of checked items. And then if it's included, that's when we'll scratch off or our item or mark it as completed. If it's not included, we'll uh, keep it as it is. Okay, so now let's jump into our to-do item. And then here I'm going to add the styling for an unchecked item or an uncompleted item. So let's call it unchecked item. And then we'll give it a width of 18. So this unchecked item will actually be the uh, circle that we'll add next to our text here. So we'll have a width of 18 a height of 18 as well, and then border radius, border width, give it a border width of 1, and then the border color, will be uh, the shade of green that we have, let's see if I have it anyway here, okay, nope. So I'll just type it in. And then we'll also give it a margin left of about 10. And then let's just do the same for our checked item. We'll just copy that. And then the only difference here is that we want to add justify content will be center and then align items as well center and then uh, for our item let's add a flex direction we'll set that to row and then also add align items set it to center that should be it for our, our item style and then next uh, Let's create a variable here. Call it list item. So this list item will be the index of our item. So what we basically did when we pass this index here, we're passing the index of our item here. So let me do this to indicate this. So let's get props. Dot index and then let's perhaps display the index here. So as you can see, this is the index of each item. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what we're going to use this index for is to check if it's included in this list of checked items. And if it is, that's when uh, we mark our item as completed. If not, then our item is still incomplete. So let me get rid of that. Okay, so after that, let's create another state here. We'll call it checked items as well. So this will basically be uh, the same uh, array that we're passing here as checked items. The reason why I'm putting this in a separate state is that uh, when we update our state here, it might not uh, read the update if we just uh, keep it as a normal variable. So we could do something like this where we have uh, checked items and then we simply get props dot checked items. 
but the issue is that when you update the state on this uh, uh, screen, on the main app screen, it might not reflect in this uh, to-do item component. So that's why I'm creating a separate state for it. So we'll keep it like that. Okay, so next thing, let's uh, create a function or perhaps let's add a touchable opacity or uh, let me open my Adobe XD first. So let's first add uh, the checked item here or the checkbox uh, that we have there. So to do that, I'll Add a touchable opacity here. Then let's just import that as well. And then for our touchable opacity, we'll add an on press event. And then this will be to mark our item as completed. Then we can create the function here. We'll leave it blank for now. And then the styling. So as you can remember, we have our styling for an unchecked item and checked item. So this will depend on whether the item is marked or, I mean, if the item is checked or not. If it's checked, then we'll use the checked item styling. If it's not checked, we'll use the unchecked item. So let's do this. Style will be equal to so as we said, this will depend on whether the item is checked or not. So to check if an item is actually checked, we'll first uh, call checked items dot includes list item. So our list item is the index of our item. And then if it includes that, basically that means our item is checked, then our styling will be uh, styles dot checked item and then if it's not checked then it will be styles dot unchecked item cool so let's see how that looks can find variable use date let's just import that So as you can see, we have our unchecked item. Uh, let's just fix the alignment of our text. Uh, let's remove justify content. Okay, perfect. So just remove the justify content and then we should have our alignment sorted. Now in our mark item as completed function, what we should do, let's first uh, check if the item is uh, uh, completed. So to do that, we'll say, Let's create a variable called item is checked. And then this will be uh, the exact same logic that we have here. Checked item includes list item. And then that will be uh, true or false. And then we can have a statement if checked, if item is checked, then what we should do is remove it from our array. All right, uh, let's add a return here. Okay, so if our item is already checked, we'll need to remove it from our array here. So remove uh, item from checked items array. And to do that, we'll simply get the index of our item within that array. Cool, so that will return the index or the position of the uh, checked item and then we can remove it from the array. So let's say let uncheck item or remove item, which will be checked item dot splice. And then we pass the index and remove it from our array. And then we can update our set items um, array once more. In this case, it will be checked items. 
cool. Okay, so basically what's happening here is that when I click uh, this grocery shopping item to market off as completed, and it already exists within this uh, array, I'm basically just gonna get the index of uh, this item or the position of that item within my array and then remove it from the array and then update it once more. Okay, and then this return statement will just prevent us from going on to the next uh, block of code. So now here, uh, if the item doesn't exist, let's add it to the checked items array. And to do that, we basically gonna uh, update our array here. So checked items dot push and we just push our list items cool so if it doesn't exist we'll just push the index uh, our list item to the array and then we also do the same way we update our array once more okay so now let's test out our logic and see if it works okay so our items are not updating let's see what we might have missed here Okay, so for the checked item, I uh, remove the border color and set it to background color instead. And I guess we can remove the border width as well there. Cool. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, when you select an item, the uh, checkbox gets updated. So what we can do as well is that we need to add the uh, strike through for any completed item. So to do that, let's go to our text and then we'll add the same logic here so we'll copy this and then just replace checked item with uh, strike through let's say uh, completed item text instead and then if it's not checked we'll just keep it the way it is and then the styling for completed text. That will simply be text decoration line and line through. So if now I check an item, as you can see, we have a line uh, drawing through our text. Cool. So next thing, let's add the check icon within our image. So the logic will be the same as well. Inside our touchable opacity, we'll have this uh, if statement as well. So we check if our item is uh, marked off as completed. If it is, we display our image. If not, just return now. Then let's import image. Then I'll just export my icon here. So I'll just copy, or oh, let's select another icon. So check, I'll go for that one. Then let's just uh, select our color. Cool, and then we'll just export that. So that's been exported. Let me just rename this to check icon. Cool. And then I'll just import that. Import check. image here and then let's add the styling for that as well uh, we'll just give it a width of 12.6 and then a height of 9.4 okay so let's see what we have now It's still not displaying. Let's see what we've missed here. Oops, uh, color was supposed to be white, sorry. Let's just update that. can 
just get rid of this one. Delete that, and then rename that one. Cool. Then let's try again. Ah, perfect. So there you have it. So in the next video, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to update our records on Superbase. So once I check an item, I should update the fields in my Superbase table to true. And also when I uncheck, uh, we're going to update the fields to false. Yeah, so till next time, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.